Okay, hi everybody. There was a problem in the uh, laptop. Okay, now we are going to in we are going to complete solving the exercises. Last time we have solved the exercise four. Now we are going to complete solving these exercises. Please write these exercises in your notebook, and if you have questions, you can ask tomorrow. Okay, exercise number exercise number five. Exercise number five. Amir is choosing a, a password for his access of the to the internet. So a password. He decides not to choose the letter O or the digit zero, the letter O or the digit zero. How many, how many words formed of two letters followed by four digits are possible? Repetition is allowed. So we have how many passwords of two letters? I will write here. I have letter, letter, followed by four digits. I put four boxes for the digits. So here letter one, here letter two, here digit one, digit two, digit three, and digit four. So uh, pay attention, we have that repetition is allowed, but we cannot choose the letter O. So in the English alphabet, there are 26 letters, but O cannot be in the, this password. So for the first letter, I have 25 chosen. 25 choices. Now, after choosing the first letter, I have to choose the second letter. Since repetition is allowed also, I can put here also 25. Now for the digits, I have 10 digits, but zero is not included, so I have nine digits. To, to choose the first digit, there are nine possibilities, nine, Second is also nine because repetition is allowed. Third is nine, the fourth is nine. So here I get 25 squared, the answer here, 25 squared times nine to the power four. Okay, this is uh, for part A. Now part B, how many passwords formed of two letters and four digits are possible? Four letters and four digits are possible. Repetition is allowed. Now, if you notice, what is the difference between part A and part B? Well, part A, he said followed. In here, the letter must be the first, the two letters must be the first, then we must have four digits. So we must have two letters first, then we should have four digits, two letters followed by four digits. Here, two letters and four digits. So the letters could be the first or the second or the, okay. They are mixed, the letters and the words. They can be in any place. So we suppose that the letters and the digits, I will see letters, then digits. So we have, as the previous, 25 squared times nine to the power four. Now, since the digits and the letters are mixed, could be mixed, so I can say, 
two letters and four digits. So I have six, six boxes or six characters. So I multiply here by six factorial. I can arrange them in six factorial. But since the letters are repeated two times, I divide by two, fact, uh, by two factorial. And that this is for the letters. And the digits can be also permuted in four factorial ways. So there is a difference between part one and part two. In part one, uh, we have order, letters, then words. While in part B, the letters and the words are mixed. Part C, how many passwords formed of two distinct letters, two distinct letters, and four distinct digits are allowed? Here, repetition is not allowed. So I do the same here. I will solve it here. So I suppose that first are the letters. I suppose that the letters are the first here. I the letter one, I the letter two. Then followed by four digits. I suppose that the letters are the first and digit, the digits are in the second place. Digit, digit two, digit three, digit four. I suppose that Okay, the letters, for the first letter, there are 26 in the English alphabet, but without O, so I have 25 letters for the first choice. 25 letters for the first choice. So 25 here. Then after choosing the first one, since they are distinct, 24. Then for the digits, I have nine, 10 digits, nine digits without zero. So nine, eight, seven, six. Here, if the letters are the first and digits are followed, but here we say that how many passwords of two distinct letters and four distinct digits. So the letters and the digits are mixed they can be in any order, in any place. So here the answer will be 25 times 24. These are for the letters times nine times eight times seven times six. How these are for the letters, but since we have six characters, I multiply by six factorial. Letters are repeated two factorial times four factorial. Question number six. A lottery prints tickets from 0, 0, 0, 0 till 9999999. Part one. How many tickets contain a number of six different digits? How many tickets contain a number four of six different digits? Six different in no repetition. So I make six different digits. One, two, three, four, five, so digit one, digit two, digit three, digit four, 
digit five, and digit six. So here, uh, since we start with zero, zero, we can put zero, zero. So there are 10 digits for the first place. After choosing the first digit, and since they are distinct, there remains nine. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. So we get 10 times nine, times eight, times seven, times six, times five. Or I can put it as uh, 10 P6. I need to make permutations of six elements out of 10. And by using the calculator, you put 10 shift multiplication six, you get the answer. Part two, how many tickets have a number formed of six identical objects? How many tickets have a number formed of six identical objects? Six identical objects like the objects all are the same, like 0000011111, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, etc., 999. If we count them from 0000111, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, uh, we get 10 if we are going to count them. I will repeat, we can start. All of them are zeros. All of them are ones, so two cases, twos, threes, nines, we have 10. Or I put six boxes, since I need to, to, to choose six digits. Okay, digit one, digit two, uh, digit three, digit four, digit five, and digit six. Now, to choose the first digit, I have 10 possibilities. So, so I have the digits zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So I had to choose the first digit. I have 10 possibilities. Suppose I have chosen eight. And six, since the digits are identical, if I choose eight here, I have to choose eight here also. I have to choose eight here since they are identical. So I have one choice, one, one, one one, one. So I get 10 times one times one times one to the power five, which is equal to 10. 10 tickets have identical. Now exercise seven. Exercise seven. How many alphabetic logos made of four letters, four letters can be four. We need to form a logo of four letters. The first letter is A or B and no letters are repeated. So we need to form a logo of four letters. So let's erase this. So I need to form a logo of four uh, digits, four letters. So I make four boxes, one, two, three, and four. The first letter here is A, could be A or B. The first letter should be, the logo should start with A or B. 
the first letter is A or B, and no letters are repeated. So to choose the first letter, the first letter could be A or B. So there are two choices, A or B. After choosing the first letter, since no, uh, no letters are repeated, after choosing the first letter, there remains 25 letters. Since we have 26 letters, I have chosen A or B, so I have chosen one of them, remains 25 letters. So it remains here, 25, 24, and 23. So we get two times 25 times 24 times 23. Or I can put two times 25 P3. Okay, hey, the, the first part here. Second part, the first letter is A or B and the letters can be repeated. So the first letter, I made, make four boxes. The first letter is A or B, so since the first letter is A or B, I have two choices. And the letters can be repeated. So in the second, to choose the second, there I, since it is repeated, I have 26 possibilities. 26, 26 to choose the third, 26 to choose. So I get two times 26 two times 26 cube. Part C. The first letter is A or B. No letters are repeated. No letters distinct. And the last letter is R. The first letter is A or B. And the last letter should be R. Now choosing the first letter A or B, I have two ways, A or B. I have chosen one of them. Now to choose R, I have one R in the alphabet, I have one possibility, one choice. Now, in this way, I have chosen the first and the last. So I have chosen two letters. And since the letters are dif distinct, if I have 26 letter, I have chosen two remains 24. So here, 24, after I have chosen the third, remains 23. So we get two times uh, 24P2 or 24 times 23, doesn't matter. Question number eight. Here in these exercises, you have to pay attention. Okay, any wrong number, the all the results should uh, is not correct so find the number of four distinct letters distinct no repetition letter words can be formed from the letters of the word history history contains one two three four five six seven letters history, there are seven letters. I need to make a word of four distinct letters. So 
I can I will solve it here part A. I can make boxes. I need four distinct letters. I make make four boxes. So to choose the first letter from the word history remains. See we have seven. Choosing the second without repetition, six, then five, then four. So we get how many four distinct letters? So I have seven times six times five times four, or I can put seven P4. Okay. Now, for the second one, how many of them contains only consonants? The consonants are the consonants are uh, H S T R Y. So I have four consonants. So I put four boxes. I need consonant. So I have four. How many of them means they are distinct? Four, three, two, one. I can say four factorial or four P4. Part C, how many of them begin and end with consonant? Part C, how many of them begin and end with a consonant. So I put here four boxes, consonant, consonant. To choose the first consonant, I have four. To choose the second consonant, I have three. After choosing the first and the last, remains five. And we have seven, it remains five, so five, Four. So we get four times five times four times three. How many of them begin with a vowel? Part D. I make four boxes. They begin with a vowel. I have two vowels only, I will O. So I have two ways to choose a vowel. Then after choosing the vowel, I have chosen one vowel. So remains from seven remains six letters. Six letters, I put six, five, four. Rem Remember that they are distinct. So I get two times six P3. Now, part E. How many of them contains the letter Y? How many of them contains the letter Y? First, I suppose that the letter Y is at the beginning. Hi, the letter Y, I have one letter Y, so I put one. After choosing Y remains six, five, four. But Y could be in the first place, could be in the second place, could be in the third place, could be in the fourth place. So I have four possibilities. So I can put four times six, times five times four. Since so Y could be first, could be second, could be third. F. Part F. 
How many begin with T and end with a vowel? I make four boxes. Begin with T, I put T here and ends with a vowel. I have one T, I have two vowels. After choosing the first two remains here, five, then four. We get five times four times two. Part G. How many begin with T and also contain the letter S? How many of them contain T? How many of them begin with T and also contain the letter S? I will suppose the part G contains T. I put T here. I begin with T and contains the letter S. I suppose that S in the second place. So I have one T and one S, five, four. Five, four. But, T, but S could be in second place, third place, fourth place. We get five times four times three. Part H, how many of them, part H, how many of them begins with T or H and ends with O? Either O, Hound, Hound, T or H. I have two, two cases here, oh, two choices, one choice. After choosing the two, remains here five, four. We get five times four, 20, 40. The last part, Part uh, H, part I, Afwan. Part I. Uh, how many, how many contains both vowels? So vowels. So I have a word of two vowels and two consonants. Two vowels and two consonants. So I put. I suppose that the vowels are at the first place. Vowel, vowel, consonant, consonant. I have two vowels, two, one, four, uh, five, four. So I can put two times five times four. This is the case if the vowels are the first and the consonants are the second. But they are all four words, so I multiply by four factorial. Since the vowels are two vowels, I can divide by two factorial times two factorial for the consonants. OK, this is all about this chapter, permutations. So tomorrow we'll start with combination. Please write the notes on your book and a copy book and if you have questions please tell me